Project Guru. 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 Welcome to Novorossiya Rocks Radio Station, downtown Donetsk. This is Zach Novak, your American. Before we start with some news, I have uh, oh, my lovely co-host is here, Natalia. Say hello. Uh, hello, Novorossians. Love her voice. Uh, you got to see her too. Before we start with some news, uh, well, this is actually some sad news. Uh, due to us uh, working on the radio and all of us part of the media world, Natalia, one of our uh, colleagues uh, from Russia TV 5, correct? Um, passed away over the weekend. Actually, I was with the crew uh, on the weekend. We did some interviews and uh, sad to say um, he uh, passed away. Can you tell us more? Uh, yes, unfortunately, there was sad uh, morning news yesterday. Uh, one of our colleagues uh, died yesterday. Cameraman of Russian's fifth channel, Dmitry Sergeyev, died on Saturday as he was working in Donetsk region. The broadcaster's representative, Alexander Anichkin, confirmed to TASS. Fifth uh, channel confirms the uh, cameraman died uh, in uh, Donbass. During the work, he felt problems with heart, he said. The incident happened at about 9 o'clock in the morning. Earlier, the channel's correspondent Anatoly Mayorov told the Donetsk news agency the cameraman was making pictures of the DPR positions near the Trudovsky settlement. During the walk, he felt bad. He did not make it uh, to hospital. Exact reason is to be announced. Back from commercial break, Novorussia Rocks radio station downtown Donetsk. I have to tell you something really cool, really something special over the weekend. Baseball in Donetsk. What? What? Yes, baseball in Donetsk. First of all, if you remember, we did a report uh, last week. Was it right, Guru? Last week? We did a report about Azov training little children with Kalishnikovs. Little children, six years old to 12 years old, being trained with AKs, bombs, grenade launchers. Meanwhile, over the weekend, our little children in Donetsk, Novorussia, are playing an American sport, baseball. I was walking the streets of beautiful Donetsk when rubbing my eyes, like I could not believe, but there was a baseball game. I had to see this. Yeah, it was a little league club practice and the kids were amazing. I was so excited, needed someone to pinch me. Where was I? Am I really watching a baseball game in Donetsk? I can't describe how I feel being with these beautiful children. Great manager, great coach, teaching the kids how to play the game. Actually, some of them been playing for years, playing for years, and the manager was actually playing and coaching uh, more than 15 years now. Uh, now, again, Kiev, Nazi Azov and Obama teaching children Kiev with AKs, all right, teaching them to kill. And here our children playing baseball. What does that tell you? I'm going to be with this team the whole week and I will have uh, wonderful uh, Oksana with us, TV crew. She will be doing a special report with them. Uh, watching them, you had to see that they were so talented. The pitching was remarkable. Total speed and control. The swing of the, pat, the bats. The catcher with the amazing glove. The running of the bases. Catching fly balls on the run. All you needed was a hot dog. I thought I was in New York. Nope. I'm here in beautiful Donetsk. Okay, back again. I have with me lovely Natalia. We had some really, really cool, exciting news to tell you. This morning, five o'clock in the morning. Yes, Natalia, was it five o'clock in the morning? Yes, it was uh, five o'clock Donetsk time and uh, 10 p.m. New York. Yes, and we were Novorossiya Rocks radio station on the radio with the US of A, the good old America, United States of America, radio broadcast from Donetsk to the US of A, revolutionary radio station, was it, uh, Natasha, Natalia? Uh, yes, it was revolutionary radio station and our audience was, uh, were people from all, all, all entire USA and especially New Yorkers. 
Yes, yes. I think uh, it was actually uh, worldwide too, connected worldwide. Uh, the audience, the audience. Uh, yes, I understood this uh, when uh, one woman from Australia phoned to support us uh, to talk about war, and uh, uh, she say hello to citizens of Novorossiya and uh, said that uh, Australians understand everything and support our children, people. Awesome. This was great. The host uh, is Steve. What's his name? Do you remember? Uh, Steve Kelly. Steve Kelly. Yes, he was the host of the show. Uh, did a two-hour show with us. Uh, it was just, uh, it was emotional, right? We told him everything what was happening, and uh, a good, good soul he is, and a good radio station, alternative, underground, speaking the truth, no control, no uh, government control, uh, and uh, they will be totally supportive of our cause. And we're very grateful, very thankful. Anything to add, Natalia? Uh, I liked everything there. were no uh, provocating uh, questions. Uh, um, I felt com comfortable uh, to talk about everything. And I saw really that people understood uh, us. And uh, if we join and more people add, uh, uh, people who understand the real reasons of the war in Donbass, uh, and uh, we will be able to stop this war. Beautiful. And that's what it's all about. Revolutionary Radio from America is trying to stop the war. They're trying to bring peace. And it's thanks to people like that. Oh, it's just uh, wonderful. All right. Uh, we'll be back uh, with some uh, important news in just a second. Last night, Nazi Ukrainian forces bombing again. Obama administration, Poroshenko, Kiev constant bombing of civilian areas. Nazi Ukrainian forces bombed last night the Kidovsky and Petrovsky districts of Donetsk. At about 11 last night, there were direct hits in the village of Staro Ikhailevka of the Kidovsky district, resulting in the destruction of four homes and an industrial warehouse, totally destroyed. Also during the night of Petrovsky district, from about 10 o'clock to midnight, that's two hours of non-stop bombing, heavy bombardment. As a result, a direct hit destroyed a home along with the full street, Mendeleev, the whole street to totally destroyed. More data info coming in on other uh, total destruction caused by Nazi Kiev bombing. Uh, also more information coming in, but so far, thank goodness, no casualties. 